Welcome back to the channel. We've got a brand new episode of Swag My Bag. We fielded thousands of applications, but only picked six people to come to Texas to get swagged out on their apparel, their accessories, and their golf equipment. Today's guest, we've got Andrew Farber from Ohio, who's a single digit handicapper. Andrew was nominated by some colleagues at work and they put together a really funny video, you know, poking fun and teasing the fact that he would hate the attention, but is someone who loves golf, that's highly skilled at golf, but really hasn't really invested in upgrading his equipment. And this is an opportunity for them to just give back to somebody that they're friends with at work and just also kind of see him squeal a little bit in front of the camera. So I set this one aside, but kept coming back to it. I was really excited to, uh, to get Andrew in here and get him swagged out. Uh, Andrew Farber, I'm from Canton, Ohio. Um, I got nominated through a couple colleagues of, of mine at work. Yeah, so they uh, nominated me because uh, they know that I don't spend money on myself for golf equipment and my set is super old. Uh, I think one of my colleagues, in fact, she thought that she was going to get my old set, but the joke's on her, she's right-handed, I'm left-handed. Um, so again, just really excited to get some new clubs in my bag. It's been a long time since I've really had the experience of going through uh, new club selection and just kind of hitting you know, a variety of clubs into a screen and just really excited to see where my game goes because of this. So we're gonna actually head to Denver now. We're gonna meet with the crew. We're gonna pick out his apparel, his accessories, and get him hitting some clubs because he hasn't had a new set of clubs in quite some time. Being a single digit handicapper, I think there's some room for improvement and see what we can do to get him as close to scratch as possible. All right, Nick, so our next guest that we have, his name's Andrew, he's from Ohio. Uh, he's actually a pretty good golfer, high single digit handicapper. He was nominated by two of his colleagues, Cecily and Clark, and they were having some fun with it. Um, so they're saying that he's like a little stingy when it comes to you know, treating himself with apparel and his golf equipment. So it'd be fun to see him get elevated in his game and in his apparel. He takes golf seriously. Like I said, he's a good player. But one of the things that I thought was funny is they kind of said that they wanted to see him squirm on camera <laughs> and just see his reaction. So it sounds like there's really good camaraderie in their office space, okay. which I thought was kind of fun to surprise him with this show and then be able to give him some really cool stuff. Last thing I thought was kind of funny, but I think Cecily wants to get her hands on his old clubs if he gets selected. Okay. So hopefully that that's able to happen. But you know, he's from Ohio, he's a good player. You know, I'd love to get him decked out with some cool pins and aces gear. Yeah, let's definitely hook him up with some good stuff. You know, obviously I think we gotta go with a clean, crisp, white player preferred golf bag. I think that probably suits his style a little bit more. Um, Obviously some head to toe, new clothes, uh, new apparel, new gear for the course. And then being from Ohio, we've got a great Ohio flag, state flag driver cover. I think we should throw that in there. Um, and it's really gonna dial in his game. It's really gonna look super clean. Awesome, love it. That's the bag that I have. It's clean. I get tons of compliments out on the yeah. course. So let's get after it and get going. Cool, so let's go. So it sounds like Andrew is a big Ohio guy, big Ohio sports fan. We've got an awesome driver head cover. We've done a lot of state flag head covers in the past. We've got an amazing Ohio cover that we're gonna load his bag up with. Sounds like Andrew also isn't somebody who seeks out a lot of attention. Maybe he's a little bit quieter. So we're gonna load him up with some loud, outgoing polos and apparel for the golf course. I'm sure he's quiet in his personal life, but when he gets out on the golf course, we want him looking decked out and looking really good on the course. Going through all of our applicants, this one really stood out to me. I thought it was really cool to have two colleagues uh, nominate one of their peers for the show. Really just kind of having fun. You can tell there was really good camaraderie amongst the group. You know, before I started doing golf content, I worked at a big company and we had a big team. We always liked to have a good time. We always liked to joke with one another. So it kind of brought me back, a little nostalgic for me, if you will. So I'm really excited. We got some really cool stuff put together for Andrew. Everything from the bag to the accessories, head covers and apparel. I think he's gonna really like this. Andrew's a player. You're gonna look sharp on the course. Pens and Aces definitely has you covered. team here at Pins and Aces definitely swagged you out. The apparel, the head covers, accessory, the golf bag is absolutely incredible. You're gonna love everything that you got. We're gonna head back to Texas, meet up with Tim and Tacoma, go through all things golf clubs because we definitely gotta upgrade your set for the upcoming season. I'm excited 
excited to get to meet Andrew, uh, see a swing. He's a lefty. I love watching lefty golf swings and, and really just kind of get to see what he has now and how potentially a, one of our sets of irons could be a great fit for him. Um, he's a low handicap already, so I'm expecting him to have a, a pretty solid swing to begin with. And so then it's really just about figuring out um, which one of our sets is going to give him what he's looking for from his irons. So hopefully he can get that handicap even lower. All right, Andrew, thanks for coming to Texas, man. I'm excited to have you on the show. Very excited to be here, too. This is great. Well, so we got thousands of applications throughout the process, and we were ciphering through, and I found one coming from a couple of your colleagues. Yeah. Uh, Cecily Taylor and Clark Harvey nominated you, who uh, you work with, to be part of the show. And honestly, their video kind of made me laugh. Like, uh, I used to run an office where we had a group of like 20 people working together and I just love the camaraderie and I saw it within that video where they were laughing where they didn't want to or they wanted you to be selected right. because they felt you would hate the attention. That's exactly right. And yeah so it was in part them wanting me to have this great experience but also I think making fun of me a little bit in the process. Yeah. yeah. Well so when I saw that I, I mean I was chuckling laughing when I was watching the video and I was like all right we're putting this one to the side I think this could be a good one and ultimately kept coming back to it so here we are, but I know when I called Cecily and Clark, I'm like, all right, well, I want to pick him, but is Andrew going to not want to be on camera? And they're like, no, no, he's going to have fun. So. Yeah, I'm fully here, man. This is great. All right, well, hey, we've got a really great experience for you lined up. I already flew out to Denver and met with Pens and Aces, who's a company I've been partnered with for several years. And they've got a ton of great products, including apparel, bags, accessories. So we've got some really cool stuff picked out for you. But today, I'm going to send you over to meet with Tim from Tacomo hit some clubs. You might hit some of your old clubs. Okay. Um, you're gonna hit some of their clubs, get a feel for, for what you're looking for. But I think this is really gonna dial you in and help ele elevate your game a little bit. Wonderful, yeah. This is such a great experience. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so let's go hit some clubs and see how they feel and we'll go from there. Great. All right, man. Andrew, good to meet you. You as well. Excited to uh, get in here with a lefty. Yeah. We get accused of kind of um, neglecting the lefty golfers. And part of that is because it takes longer to get products out for lefties, but we do have some lefty clubs. Sweet. And so I'm excited for you to try those today. Today we're gonna be focusing mostly on the irons, and then I've got a wedge I want you to try as well, the Skyforger wedge. Okay. Um, but really it's about finding that right iron set for you. Um, the fairway woods and all of that we just launched, so they are not ready and lefty yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, same story. Yeah, so, but when those come out, you will be getting those, um, but obviously we're just not gonna be able to hit those right here on the track, man. Awesome. Um, but first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get some baseline numbers for your current set. Okay. Just a couple clubs, maybe an eight iron and then a longer iron. Sure. Get some baseline numbers. And then I've got an idea of the set that I think you're gonna crush, okay. um, but we'll, we'll see what the numbers look like. Sounds great. All right. Uh, so that's your eight iron. You normally like to hit that? 155 to 160, typically. Is that total or carry primarily? Um, yeah, it's probably like 155 carry to roll out. Okay. Yep. roll out just a little bit. Yeah. Trackman tends to not roll out quite as far as, as courses. Sure. But obviously you are hitting that. The last one was carried at 152. Okay. So you can you can already see that like, right yeah, on. that 155 carry is, is definitely there. Um, especially if you turn one over. Right. Um, you know, fade's obviously gonna go a little less, but yeah. It's annoying how um, smooth lefty swings look. <laughs> so that was the eight iron. Yeah. I'll have you hit a long iron as well. Okay. I don't know which one you have. I got a six iron here. Cool. Oh, that's gonna be fun because I've got I've got one you're gonna hit that. Do you do you like hitting your your longer irons than that? Do you the five and four? Are you a big fan of those? Certain situations, they're like situational. I, yeah. I have a four hybrid that I like, mm. probably over those two. Yeah. Feels like I can control it a little bit more. That makes sense. But. Um, uh, I don't even carry a four iron anymore. I do yeah. carry the five in the bag, but it's mostly relegated to a punch out club at this point. <laughs> that makes sense. So this is that six iron. Six iron. I'm assuming on the course, this is probably more like a 180. Yep. Pretty yeah. much 180 right mm -hmm. on the number. Yep. Not surprised. I think that one felt pretty weak. Yeah, it was heavy. Just all right. 
Well, look, all we were really looking for is some base numbers, right? Sure. Just just to get context. Because um, the other thing is, I don't know if you're looking to really gain a ton of distance. Um, we're really just trying to see if, if this set is going to feel good for you, right? If it's a set that you're going to be excited about playing. Yeah. And you might see, you might jump up, right? The distance might jump up. Right. I think you're probably going to see uh, a bump in some forgiveness, right? Okay. Maybe a little easier to hit. And I think, potentially, you'll be able to swing these a little faster. All right. So, I'm going to have you start with the 8-iron. Sure. Which, the, before that was your... A one f on the track, man. Yeah. About that 150, 148 to 150 carry. Yep. Just based on those swings. So we'll hit a couple of these. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll just see what see what you think. First time swinging it. How does the how does the club feel? How does like the the, the weight of it, the shaft? Oh, like it feels super balanced. Like, one thing that I really like is the clean look mm -hmm. on top. I'm coming from a chunkier club. Yep. Which. Yep. Uh, I feel like my game's at a point where I don't mm -hmm. need that chunky look. Well, when I, when I saw your swing, I, I, I knew, okay, classic lefty, like you just don't have that many club options available. Sure, that's So exactly you're playing it. clubs that like, you, your swing is, your swing is better than. Okay, that's gonna be, yeah, okay. So that's that wow, 150 once, you thought, yeah. the, you know, the carry that you would see outside, the 155. Yeah. So that's probably, so indoors we're looking at 154, which means outside that might be closer to the 160 potentially. Sure. You know, if that's, if that's how that plays out for Felt you. Felt so. really good. And I didn't even hit that one cleanly, I could yeah. tell. That one's, that one's the I one. Smoked that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think your 8-iron might... I'm losing my draw, too. So I, I normally have the little <laughs> bit, or excuse me, a little bit of that fade. I'm actually gaining, that's like a straight line. Yeah, it's, it's, starting, it's starting a touch right, which is where you normally start it. Yeah. It's just not fading back as much. It's, right. got, it's got a little, uh, no, the offset's going to be fairly similar, right? Okay. It's just delivery, right? It's yeah. getting used to it. Um, also could be start line in here on here. But since it's not, it's not hooking, it's not no, doing not this. No, not at all. It's, it's not really line. curving, it's just a straight line. Um, but yeah, those are, those are kind of crushed. Uh, so now, so what I want to do is I want to have you hit this golf club. Okay. Don't look at the number on it. I won't. Just hit it. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. All right. Tells me I have to back up from it a little bit. I mean, just a touch. Well, that was fun. Mm-hmm. Right on the line? Yeah. I like that ball flight. I do too. Okay. I made better contact yeah, there, so that's th for yeah, sure. Okay. This this is what I wanted to see. Okay. Woo. So that's the five iron. Okay. I know you don't really hit a five iron. I don't. So, I don't trust my five iron, that's yeah. why. And um, that's why I didn't tell you what the number was, because you've got some sort of some thoughts about sure. five irons in your head. So I wanted to see what happens if you hit that one. I would I could tell you I'd hit it on the course a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That was great. That one felt good. Yep. Those numbers look good. Right on line. Yeah. I mean, that's just fine. And that would live in my bag all and, time. Hey, and listen, there's a four iron that, that is like that too, yeah. that you're probably carrying uh, north of, like on course, mm -hmm. depending on the golf ball and how much you want to spin it, but like you're probably carrying north of probably 200 plus, yeah. depending on how that works and out. Back so. when I didn't trust my driver or any of my woods, mm -hmm. I drove with a four iron. Yeah. So it hasn't been in my bag for a long time, but I would definitely think about putting it back in the bag if I could control it like this. Uh, yeah, it, it's gonna play the same. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I love that, and that's so that's what I really wanted to find out. So I, you you swing, you have a great swing to begin with, right? You have a very balanced swing. So I wasn't worried like, oh, is he gonna be able to hit these clubs? Of course you're gonna be able to hit the clubs, sure. right? So then it's just figuring out, um, is this setup something that is gonna that you are gonna benefit from? That's gonna give you something your current set doesn't, yeah. right? Uh, and I think the shaft difference is gonna be a big difference just because you're gonna feel it more. Right, you can be able to yeah. feel like you can be more aggressive if you want Well, to. just the confidence, standing over the ball and, and like the nice clean look, mm -hmm. the balance of the club like as you're standing there, it just feels, I mean, golf is so much of a feel game anyway, mm -hmm. so just standing over it with confidence makes a world of it's difference. It's amazing. Man. You stand over the ball yeah. and you're scared. Guess what? That ball's scared too. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, love that. But I, like one of the big things to me that I love seeing is when, you know, a golfer who maybe doesn't like those long irons, yeah. right? And then you put the right setup in their hands and all of a sudden sure. those long irons go to like, I actually want to hit this. Yeah. Like, I, I want to put this in the bag. So, love that. I think that's definitely the setup for you. It seems to fit you quite well. Um, 
So now the other thing I wanted to have you try, the thing we have today, is one of our wedges from our Sky Forger setup. You have a, you carry a lot of wedges. I do. And so we've got this. My favorite club in the bag, by the way. The 48? Just any of my wedges. Yeah. Love them. Well, I, th I think, I mean, we'll see. We'll just have you swing a couple with this and, and see how it feels, right? Okay. understand why you would enjoy that. I love the versatility of a wedge. That's oh, yeah. why I like it. It's like that one club that you can do just about anything with. Mm -hmm. love it. All right, Andrew. Yeah. That was fun. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, love watching your golf swing. Always jealous when I get to watch a lefty swing a golf club because I will never swing it as smoothly okay. <laughs> as you do. Um, I think, so what we ended up with, I think these it's the 101's KBS Tour uh, light S-Flex shaft. Mm -hmm. This setup seemed to work fantastic for yeah, you. No issues whatsoever. So uh, this are gonna be great for you. You're gonna get the Skyforger wedges. Um, I believe we're gonna get you the exact same setup you currently have okay. as far as the gapping there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get you the fairway woods and the driver as well, obviously, when those get all the way wow. released for lefties. So we're gonna, we're gonna fill out the bag for you. Okay. Um, but as now, you're gonna be getting these uh, irons, we get to do the wedges. Uh, I'm excited, I'm excited because this was fun to watch. Because your swing, you got a great swing and your other clubs, not like they were not working for you. Sure. There's just room for those to be uh, more of a weapon for you. Yeah, so. I agree. Awesome, well thank you so much for letting me be a part of this little thing with you, this little surprise, I guess, yeah. that your friends hooked up for what you. What a wonderful surprise, yeah. just a surreal experience all together, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, we're, we are very excited that we get to be a part of this, and sure. uh, yeah, very cool. So anyway, I'm gonna send you back over to Travis, I know okay. he's got some other stuff for you, so. Great. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. It's great. Yeah, so just finished up my hitting with Tim. Um, it, he's obviously clearly very knowledgeable about this equipment. Um, passed some of that information along to me. You know, settled on the 101s for my game. Really added a little bit of distance. Um, the forgiveness was just wonderful. Uh, noticed really tight shot dispersion. Um, the feel was just incredible. Had a ton of uh, even miss hits because, you know, my swing's not perfect, but the uh, the distance that I was still carrying, the the feel of the club in my hands, just the confidence standing over top of it with the nice clean lines of the club. Um, you know, really excited to put these in my bag and see where my game goes from here. All right, as expected, he's a lefty. The swing looked awesome, and the results are really good too. Like he's a really consistent uh, golfer, it seems, as far as ball striking. Um, so we ended up going with the 101 iron set, and there's a couple of reasons. One, they just felt really good when he hit them. So to me, that's one of the biggest things. It's just that confidence when you look down at the club, feeling like this is going to work out well for me. Top of the bag with the 101s, um, more forgiveness, and he hit the five iron, and he doesn't even really play a five iron, he has one in the bag, doesn't like to use it, and he was just crushing it. So I think that's gonna make a big difference. And then I'm excited for when he gets the lefty fairway woods and driver. Obviously, those aren't even released yet, so he's gonna be one of the very first people to get to put them in the bag. And because they are so customizable, he's actually gonna be able to kind of fit himself for those once he gets them, adjust them to get the ball flight that he's looking for from those. So I think that's gonna be a great addition to the bag as well. All right, here with Andrew, just got done hitting. You were absolutely crushing the ball in there, man. Yeah, it felt really good. Yeah, so you like the clubs? Oh, wonderful, yeah, they're super just balanced and, and clean looking, and I mean, what more could you ask for as a golfer? Well, so how's this whole experience been so far? It's been kind of a whirlwind. Like, <laughs> yeah. I did not expect all of this to happen. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise, obviously, yeah. and, and just super thankful for the opportunity. Well, dude, we got a bunch of stuff here lined up for you. Let's start with the bags. So Pins and Aces came out with this new line of bags. We got you this clean white one with the black compliments. Your name is oh, there man, on the front. Oh man, how cool is that? So you are now legit. Um, I'm a full on parking lot pro with my name on my bag and can't translate to the course. That's but okay. We got some great head covers here. So we got a new putter cover. This Pins and Aces graffiti design uh, wood cover. And then we had to throw in the Ohio, Ohio. state flag here for you on the driver head awesome. cover, so where you come from. So your uh, 101s, yeah. the Tacoma irons are in here. And then Pins and Ace is a company I've been working with a long time. They have some really great designs. They have some great products for apparel, accessories. So you can see they're very loud, so you can be yeah. loud and proud on the course. We've got sure. a few fun prints, the Kraken, some spaceship stuff, and some fireworks. A really cool pullover and then this vest, pretty cool design. Uh, look good, play good, right? Absolutely, right? So they got some great gloves. You got the elephant print here, the star print, and then just your traditional white. 
for your right hand, and then some belts, some cool hats. Their hats are cool. So you got these fun bar ball markers. We got the uh, the Masters pimento yeah. cheese. They actually have a magnet here in the side of the hat. Oh, cool. So if you want to do that. Never lose a ball marker. And then I love to listen to music on the course. Same. Pins and Aces has this really great speaker. It's a magnetic that goes on the cart, Bluetooth. So you can listen to some tunes, throw in a PJ Memes koozie, and uh, this hat strap clip that you can put your ball marker on as well. Okay. We have a fun poker game that I like to do with my buddies. Yeah. So throw a dollar or two, contribute to each point, and you have chips for good shots and bad shots. Sure. And it's an also a cool valuables pouch that you end up with. Love my it. favorite thing that I have in my bag is the beer sleeve. Of course. So if you like beer or you want to even put some uh, sodas or whatever you want in there, it holds seven uh, beer cans. It's insulated, so it keeps them cool. and actually slides right down in the golf bag. Oh my gosh. So brilliant. it's a little discreet. So if you don't want to spend, you know, $8 a beer on the golf course, Who does? you're good to go. Yeah. So but yeah, then they got some great stuff. So we think we hooked you up all the way from the bag, head covers, clubs, clothing, and I think you're ready to go for More the new upcoming golf season, for. right? Yeah, it's amazing. So we have a few other things we throw in here for you. Um, I run a series of charity events called the PJ Memes Challenge. Mm -hmm. Do them throughout the country. So I'd love for you to come and bring a guest to one of those. Mm -hmm. So I'll share the schedule with you okay. as we finalize it. Mm -hmm. And then whatever one you want to come to, we'll make sure you're completely set up and ready to go. Wow. And it's a, it's a lot of fun. We raise a lot of money for a children's hospital here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And so it's for a great cause, but we always have some really fun people, fun, fun band, uh, brands that are activating. And so yeah. it's always a good time. So oh, sounds wonderful. pretty sure you'll want to head out there and have a good time. And last but not least, your golf game is pretty dialed in. You had some great swings in there. So I think you're going to see some differences with the clubs. Yeah. But I partnered with Golf Live, which is a company that um, is new, uh, up and coming over the last year. They've mm -hmm. partnered with hundreds of PGA professionals. And it's an app that you can download and you can basically uh, request a live lesson anytime from anywhere. Wow. So I know the winters are tough where yeah. you're at. Yeah. So no excuses anymore. You don't have to head to the course no. or to a cold driving range. You actually can do this from your living room or your garage or the office and fire up the phone, call in a coach and mm -hmm. you can work on anything from grip, short game to full swing, you know, whatever that you need to work on. But we're gonna give you access to a coach for the next 12 months. Oh my and no excuses now, Yeah, Travis. so you got new clubs, <laughs> you got new gear, and now yeah. you got you got a coach in your corner too. Yeah. So, I mean, we fully expect you to come out swinging and hitting them straight sure. uh, in the new golf season. Man. The sky's the limit so, now. But dude, I'm glad that you uh, got nominated by your colleagues. Yeah. And uh, I know it was kind of a joke, but now you can come back and, you know, joke's on them. They're really gonna be is. way better than them at golf. and. Uh, beat all your buddies on the course too. I love it, yeah. So, dude, thanks a lot for coming out, I appreciate man. I appreciate you, it, Andrew. This is yeah. awesome. I love the collection of stuff we put together for Andrew. I mean, the Ohio State uh, flag head cover was really good touch. I think the all, all round accessories that we provided for pins and aces, they're gonna be a lot of fun for Andrew. The bag is clean. It's the same bag that I use, the white with black, uh, having his name on it. It's really good touch. And the golf live lessons, I really think for him, it's gonna be a huge factor given that he's in Ohio, it's cold, you can't go out on the golf course for a big part of the year. So this is something that he can utilize at home, if he's on the road in a hotel room or even at the office. So, you know, if he dedicates himself uh, to his game with these new clubs, really he can get that handicap down to a really low level and be playing some of the best golf that he's ever done in his entire life. I'm really excited about the equipment that I'm getting, um, but in addition to that, you know, the apparel, the bag, the head covers, the nice custom touch with the state of Ohio's flag, um, the whole experience, you know, going through this, uh, the invite to PGA Memes Challenge, just very grateful for the opportunity, really excited to see what happens in the future. So to have a coach in my corner now is just going to be uh, just really awesome. The ability to kind of hone my game in, work on my weaknesses, you know, in any location, that's just amazing because in Ohio, we have a very shortened golf season. Um, the fact that I can do this in my garage or, you know, in a, a golf bay at one of these simulator ranges or something, um, just super, super excited about what that's gonna bring for my game this year. Yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody for this experience. You know, Tacomo, uh, Pins and Aces, Travis and his channels. Um, been a big fan of those for a long time and it, it's kind of surreal to sit on the other side with the camera on me for once. Uh, just super appreciative of this opportunity and, and can't wait for next year's golf season.